hat, hissing rudely. Bless me, said Sir Topham Hat. What a noise. They all hiss me, sir, answered Edward. They say tender engines don't shunt. And last night they said I have gray wheels. I haven't, have I, sir? No, Edward, you have nice blue ones, and I'm proud of you. Tender engines do shunt. But all the same, we do need another tank engine here. He went to a workshop and they showed him all sorts of engines. At last he saw a smart little green engine with four wheels. That's the one, he thought. If I choose you, will you work hard? Oh, sir. Yes, sir. That's a good engine. I'll call you Percy. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. And Sir Topham Hat brought Percy back to the yard. Edward, he called. Here's Percy. Will you show him everything? Percy soon learned what he had to do, and they had a happy afternoon. Then Henry came by, hissing as usual. Whish! went Percy. Henry jumped and ran back to the shed. How beautifully you wished him, laughed Edward. I can't wish like that. Oh, said Percy, that's nothing. You should hear them in the workshop. You have to wish loudly to make yourself heard. Next morning, Thomas arrived. Sir Topham Hatt sent for me. I expect he wants help, he said to Edward. Shh, shh, here he comes, replied Edward. Well done, Thomas. You've been quick. Listen, Henry Gordon and James are sulking. They say they won't shunt like little tank engines. So I have shut them up, and I want you both to run the line for a while. Little tank engines indeed, snorted Thomas. We'll show them. And Percy will help too. Oh, sir. Yes, sir. Please, sir, answered Percy. Percy.